try to start my day having, uh, whether it's meditation, whether it's your coffee, whatever it is, having a little quiet time to kind of ease into the day. That mm-hmm. helps me throughout the whole day. Mm-hmm. Welcome to Creative Type Podcast. This is episode 19, Time Management with Vicki Wilson. I'm Lori Rivera. And I'm Jamie Haney. And welcome once again to Creative Type Podcast. And we are with Vicki Wilson. Vicky Wilson. <laughs> I was, oh, we didn't talk about how we were going to introduce Vicki. Yeah, you know? yeah. She's part of the I'm, gang now. So I'm so glad to join you girls. I'm yes. glad to be here. Thank you. We're glad to have oh. you. Yeah, we really and, are. And uh, you may have noticed that uh, you might have listened to the last podcast, episode 18, Dealing with Overwhelm. Vicki was on our podcast talking about overwhelm as an artist. So, uh, but we invited her back because she has some time management skills and tips that she'd like to talk about. I do. And I tell you what, you know, as an artist, uh, it kind of, uh, the days change some, sometimes schedules change. And uh, it's just kind of like life. Sometimes we're really busy and there's times that it's not so busy, right? But Mm -hmm. uh, there is some uh, ideas that I do that helps me uh, to, uh, with the time management. And because if, uh, like I said, March, March started a, uh, I had a lot of calls for classes (laughs) Uh, this year, you know, in April, I thought, okay, March is going to be busy. April will be a little bit less. And it wasn't, it was even <laughs> yeah. more. And then I thought, right. okay, April, I'm going to get a breather here for May. And it's not, so it's, yeah. it was it's like, getting better. It's getting a little bit better, but uh, it was like anyway, storm so, season for storm yeah, season yeah. for Vicki. Right, right. I know, I know and, and we all go through that. There's times it's just like we're about ready to pull our hair out. We love what we do, but sometimes it's it's uh, deadlines and things like that, and uh, you have to you have to follow through. So there's things that I have done my that helps myself in order to keep me uh, not really accountable, but uh, keep me in uh, well the right perspective, I guess you know. Mm-hmm. to not get too overwhelmed. And uh, we mentioned, you know, the uh, couple of apps that I use for kind of calming and, and, uh, and, but I do that daily. So that is something that I feel like by doing that daily, uh, one was the Insight Timer and one was the Calm app. And um, I think by doing that daily, that keeps my focus a little bit better. Uh, you know, we can only control so much. And, uh, but that helps me to uh, get my perspective for the day, you know, uh-huh. and I usually, uh, the one app I kind of do in the mornings now, uh, it's a uh, kind of a meditation and whether you call it prayer or meditation or whatever you want to call it, everybody calls it kind of a little bit something different. Um, you know, it's, it's good for that. It's get, good to get you focused and start your day. And then now in that's, the evening, is that the insight timer one? Yes, that's the meditation yes. one. Yes. That's the one you told me about Jamie. And, yeah. uh, and then in the evening, <clears throat> excuse me, in the evening, I do the one that's kind of more relaxing to sleep with, but so you've got all this time during the day though, right. <clears throat> and that you have to manage. So I, I tried to start out my uh, day's with I'm a coffee drinker, Lori, you're a coffee drinker. Oh yeah. And uh, we have to have our coffee. That's right. And uh, so I start out my days with that and my husband's retired now. So he is uh, here more than, you know, ever. Uh, He's not got, he does things, but he's at home. So we have our coffee together in the mornings. And uh, a lot of times if the weather's nice, I love to go out on the patio and we have all kinds of, critters that come through you know deer <laughs> and foxes and of course squirrels are everywhere and uh we have some turkeys some and you wouldn't think that because we actually live in town but we're right out kind of on the city limits you know yeah so there's woods behind our house so that gives me inspiration in the mornings kind of gets me started I don't spend a lot of time doing that if my day is really busy right so uh when I have to 
I, that starts my day off though. Good. Mm -hmm. You know, if you just jump out of bed for me, if I just jump out of bed and go, 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 then by noon, (laughs) I am burnt out. (laughs) Right. Right. Uh, Probably even before that. So I tried to start my day having, uh, whether it's meditation, whether it's your coffee, whatever it is, having a little quiet time to kind of ease into the day. That mm-hmm. helps me throughout the whole day. Mm-hmm. Now, when I'm traveling to um, classes or giving individual classes or groups or whatever, or going to the sisters um, for classes, on the the way there, a lot of times, uh, you know, I've already got planned pretty well what I'm going to work on. But, you know, uh, when you live in a city, you have a lot of stoplights and a lot of times, (laughs) uh, or, or road construction or something. And so a lot of, that's everywhere It is right now, a lot of those times is when I'm stopped, you know, I will maybe turn on my recorder on my phone and then I will kind of talk, uh, of things that I need to do for the day or the week or the next class or whatever it might be. And that way uh, I have that handy. Right. Mm -hmm. And also I always uh, keep a pad of paper and uh, pens in the vehicle as where, as well as when I mentioned, you know, my bedside table uh, just to kind of keep organized with that. Mm -hmm. I, I don't ever leave without my planner because, you know, that's usually when you go to one class or an individual's class, you're going to set your next schedule time uh, if they're continuing, uh, you know, classes with you. So you have to take that planner and your calendar with you. Uh, Also, one thing that I do, it doesn't sound like much, but it helps me like when I'm home and I'm doing laundry or whatever it is too, in the middle of uh, work, uh, every little 15 minute slot that I have, you know, you don't think that 15 minutes you can do very much, but you actually really can. And um, so it might just be like, you've been thinking about a, 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 a small painting, we'll just say a small painting, and I haven't got it sketched out yet. You know, it might be that time that I just focus on that one thing that's kind of been in the back of my mind kind of gnawing, like you haven't got that sketched out, Vicki, you know, you haven't got that done. But I would take that little (laughs) spot of time that you think, oh gosh, you know, I could do all kinds of other things, but I'm going to take that 15 minutes, only 15 minutes and get that done. That one thing that's been kind of nagging at me. My mom used to do, yeah, my mom used to do something like that. She she? had an, she had a timer. She would actually set her timer. I don't remember if she gave herself 15 minutes or not, but she would set her timer and she knew that that's how long she had to allocate to that Mm -hmm. task. Mm -hmm. She was not very good with time management. Yeah. I I think that for me, that helps me a lot. I used to do that. I don't do it so much now, but when I worked full time outside of the home, uh, when I taught, um, I would on the weekends, you know, instead of messing with your whole weekend and, you know, you value your weekends, right? We all do. And I would set a timer and I would do it for one hour and I would only clean my house. I wouldn't watch TV. I wouldn't get on social media. I wouldn't do anything else, but I I made my mind up that that's what I do. And uh, that kept my house orderly. (laughs) You know, it wasn't white glove clean, but it was, (laughs) you know. (laughs) Oh, your house is pretty uh, clean. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I would say it's nearly white glove clean. (laughs) Yeah. 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 Like me and Jamie. (laughs) But, you know, that helped me. That helped me a lot because it was just one hour and I stopped and I made myself stop, even though I knew, oh, you could go on and do more. You know, I made myself stop. So there's always more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's never ending. <laughs> that's, that's kind of what idea. I do with that little 15 minute slot. I just, it's something that's kind of, that's been gnawing at me that bothers me. That's what I do, whether it's sketching or, or whatever it might be, you know? Yeah. Um, the other thing, let's see that I'm a big believer in now. I know you guys have talked about social media mm-hmm. and we all have our favorites and we have some that we don't like, (laughs) you know, (laughs) and now uh, Facebook is, works better for me. And so I do, and I'm a believer in this, a firm believer is to pre-schedule your posts. 
Yeah. Yeah. I, that has that's helped good. me. Yeah, that's excellent. Yeah. That has yeah. helped me save so much time. Yeah. Because and Facebook, I, yeah. Facebook makes it easy now. And Facebook is the best, best one for me as well. But mm-hmm. do you use that little calendar that they have? Is yes. That, it's a planner. Yeah. They call it a yeah. planner right now, yeah. but you know, it changes all the time, <laughs> but they change the format. Yeah. But right now I think uh-huh. it's called a planner, which is basically a calendar. And you can do it weekly or monthly. And uh, I try to at least get two weeks done. Mm-hmm. I have I have done a month, but, you know, uh, what I find out if you pre-plan, you know, you don't, two weeks is more manageable. You kind of know ahead what two weeks are going to be. You know what paintings you might get finished or what you, you know, your classes or whatever are coming up. A month is a little stretch because things change so much, you know, right. and, mm-hmm. and can change quickly. And then I've done that a couple of times and then I have forgot that I've pre-scheduled and, oh. you know, something has Double happened. And, <laughs> yeah. Uh, or, or if something happens in the world that you just yes. don't want to gloss over something, yes. you know. Sometimes yes. we have some real tragedies that you may not, yeah. you know, it may not right. be appropriate to yeah. to post something that's scheduled. So you yes. do have to keep an eye on that, but right. that's excellent, excellent advice. Yeah. You know, it could be my imagination, but I don't know. It seems like to me the one time that I pre-scheduled my posts for about two weeks and Vicki, you were the one who inspired me to do that. I did try it. It seems like Facebook rewarded me as, with better engagement. Mm-hmm. for that really? two weeks oh. yes I did notice oh. that like I said it could have been just coincidence or my imagination mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. I don't think it was well mm-hmm. that's worth trying right there because oh, it's yeah. hard <laughs> it, it is. is hard to get Facebook to show your posts anymore so yeah, that's good is. advice Laura yeah. Yeah. thanks yeah. for sharing that yes yeah. yes I I can see why you know it's a social platform the more you're on there you know uh the more often you're on yeah. there Mm-hmm. Uh, at least that's what they mm-hmm. claim, <laughs> you know, they're right. going to post. So I, I'm yeah. sure I bet that was it, Lori. Yeah. So I think they, I think Facebook liked that. Yeah. Yes. That's good. Like, that's you know, good. you're committed, you're committed. It's uh, right. You yeah. know, <laughs> right. Exactly. That's interesting. And, and I always hear too, that if Facebook or Instagram, anytime they come out with something new, or if you use their features, they like that. Mm, so they yeah. will give you more mm-hmm. views if mm-hmm. you do that. And, mm-hmm. you know, anytime something pops up, they give you a suggestion. Hey, you haven't had a real one. Yes. <laughs> yes. And if you do right. that, I've noticed that, man, it, it really does give you mm-hmm. more views on mm-hmm. that. I think if you do, I, not to say that, you know, do everything Facebook tells you to do, but you know, <laughs> stuff like that, I think it mm-hmm. does, it pays off. Why yeah, not? Right? I think it does. Yeah. Just like yeah. the reels and the stories and the lives. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now that's something I don't do as uh, the stories are pretty easy, but now the reels, yeah. there was a time that I was working more on reels. Oh, but yeah. now to me, I remember they that. take, yeah, they take some time to do. Yes. They do uh, and planning. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, I found talk about corner. time management. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> takes up too much time. It does. What app I did you find? A, Lori? I found a cool app called Pick Play Post. Pick Play but Post. I've okay. not heard of that. Let our listeners, if you guys know about that, you can make reels with that by combining videos and photos in the same, uh, oh, cool. like together, yeah. like together in a little grid. So that's oh, like well, I saw way. it. Yeah, you could. Yeah, I saw you had way. one. Yeah. 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 So oh. I thought you guys might like to know that. And I will have to know. I hadn't heard of that. I will have to look that up. Thank you. Yeah. And it's free. There's a paid version also, but it's okay. it, there's a free one also. Pick, play, and post, right? Yes. Yeah. Add yeah. that in the show notes. Yeah. That'd be okay. good. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll that's have to cute. check into that. Because I tell you what, that that takes some time. Now the scheduling, mm-hmm. the pre-scheduling, just to post with the image and, you know, a uh, little copy on it or something that, that doesn't take me as long, you know, and that's why I like to do it. But those reels, I'm not, a, I'm not yeah. uh, good on those. <laughs> that's and Facebook, I need to work on. <laughs> yeah. And, and Facebook wants you to have a, a variety. So, and I fall in that same trap where I'll just post photos over mm. and over and over. Oh yeah, me too. And, and then it starts getting stagnant mm-hmm. and you've got to throw in a reel or a story yes. or both. Or, yes. you know. And one easy way I have found is to just convert your, your 
reel or your post into a story. It allows you mm -hmm. to do that. And even if it's a still image, you can just add some uh, jazzy music to it and some a couple little giffies or, you know, the uh -huh. animation. And then, you know, that's eye catching and you're you're trying to make Facebook happy. And some people just go from story to story to story. I know I'm guilty of that sometimes mm -hmm. if it, <laughs> you know, I try to skip through the advertisements as much as possible. But, you know, I think a quick way to get something in and to make Facebook happy. So they in turn will give you more views. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's I, great. I've, I've noticed great. you've been doing more of that, Jamie, on yours. I've been trying. Yeah. I've yes. been, I've been on a roll. I have I'm let a... myself. Yeah. I've let myself go on the weekends sometimes. Cause I don't feel like, especially now the weather's warmer. People are busy. Uh, school be letting out soon. Vacations are starting and, mm -hmm. uh, and you know, mm -hmm. ball games and that sort of thing. Graduation parties. Uh, yes. I don't feel like p as many people are, are on Saturday and Sunday, even mm -hmm. Friday night. Friday night has never been a good posting day for me. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I don't worry about those, but I was doing every single day and, you know, they mm -hmm. give you these mm -hmm. little incentive well not necessarily incentive but little attaboys you know oh you're you've been yeah. you've increased engagement for 131 days <laughs> yes, I know. Now. Yes, right. and then and then yeah. I'll forget it and it's an incentive one oh man uh -huh. yeah <laughs> but it does I mean there's something to be said for that that's yes. you know follow their lead and you know they do reward you in that way as uh -huh. much as we can get rewarded at least without, yeah. you know, it's, it's never going to go back to how it used to be. And we just have to find new ways to, uh, you know, to keep trying. Mm -hmm. I always tell everyone this is kind of off, off subject a little bit, but, you know, put, uh, you know, we can't have everything on Facebook or Instagram. So always try to direct people. And I'm doing this more and more mentioning my newsletter. And yeah. that is in, yeah. in these Facebook posts and Instagram posts. Yes. And make it easy for them. And now I don't even send them to a form. I just say, DM me your email. Right. So, and then I can ask them more questions if they mm -hmm. DM me. And I think they're more apt to, to give you more information if you do it that way than if they mm. have to fill out a form. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. At least that's, you know, usually whenever I put a, a shout out for, hey, your news, my newsletter, I'll usually get a few people at least, mm -hmm. one or two, sometimes more, to, to go ahead and, hey, add me. And right. I do. Yeah. And then your eggs aren't in one basket, you know, like just social right. media yeah. or just this or just that. If you get them on your newsletter or even mm -hmm. even if you get them on your YouTube channel or something else yes. other than just Facebook and Instagram, because mm -hmm. we all know they're owned by the same company. So if something right. happens to them, well, both of them are gone, you know? Right. Yes. Right. And so I can see, I mean, no one has talked about this yet, but I wonder about a future of when they're going to start charging us to have these Facebook pages. Right. I I could see that happening. And then, I, you yeah. know, we may not want to pay for that, especially with the engagement. Well, they just yeah. changed that where you could get the verified check and they, yes. and you could pay for it. You pay monthly for it. Mm -hmm. And then Lori, you said that you had mentioned that you might do that because you were having such problems with mm -hmm. that. You were supposed to get oh, support. Yeah. Well, now they've turned around and said that they're not going to give you more views or anything with that paid. So, uh -huh. you know, they kind of, they changed their mind on that. So, you know, yeah, this, well, like we always say, Facebook and Instagram is not the end all be all. Mm -mm. Yeah. No, no. All right. Well, we kind of got off there. Let's get back on there. Uh, Vicki, your time management. What are some more? After you see, we left here with the uh, scheduling, pre-scheduling. What else have you got? Um, I think it's just kind of focusing on the things that you can control. What you, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, there's so much that we can't control. Mm -hmm. So find the things that you can control. Try to get that uh, in your schedules that you that you have. I, now, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by well, that? Well, I think control? there's just, well, like we were just talking about the social media. There's so much that we mm -hmm. can't control. Yes. So I know right now, currently, I can control pre-scheduling, you know, mm -hmm. right now that's okay. an offer. Hope mm -hmm. they keep that. That yeah. saves me an awful lot of time. Like we, you know, we just said, yeah. um, because I'm kind of on a roll, right? That's right. what I'm focusing on. Uh, I'm not doing anything else at the moment. And uh, I can get through that pretty quick. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think it's just uh, for me, the f uh, focusing on what's, what's important, what I, uh, my top priorities, what I need to do for the day or week or whatever it is. 
-hmm. because when I do give classes and especially with um, children and adults, everybody's on different levels, right? And so we have yes. real beginners that need to know supplies or, or, you know, even brush strokes, anything like that. And then you've got some intermediate that's had some experience. So, so everything is different. I can't just, it's not uh, pack my bag for, you know, one thing and it's good for, you know, all the people it's mm-hmm. not. So I've constantly got to uh, keep that going in my mind uh, on the classes of what I need, what materials to bring, what the individual wants or the group wants. So uh, for me, uh, I know, of course, that when the class comes up before I have to have every all my supplies, I have to have everything ordered if I need to order anything and uh, packed up. And I organized, I have a small studio here and um, I did clean it out yesterday, girls. But uh, <laughs> and that was because I had, I had somebody over here. It was probably <laughs> pretty clean already. Yeah. <laughs> well, you well, what, wait. It, Lori. <laughs> One day, I, I don't know if you know this, Lori, but Vicky fell over like a roll of paper, and what you broke something? I didn't broke you? my nose. Oh, no. oh my gosh! Nose. This is a couple of years ago. I didn't know that. Studio. You know how you can buy the large. I mean, the large. And I was doing at the time a lot of mixed media. It's paper on a roll. I don't know how heavy that thing is, but it's heavy. And it was in here, like right inside my door, a few steps. And I hadn't put it anywhere yet, right? So that was in here. Well, I had just got a brand new easel, just ordered a new easel and hadn't put it together yet. So it's it was long and it was in the hallway. Oh, no. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I get up. It was 100 nice miles an hour, hour probably. Yeah, yeah. I get up walking through, coming towards the studio, and I was getting ready to put maybe work on that easel, put that together. And this was when my husband was still working. So, but he had just he had just walked in. He had been here ten minutes. So he From was work. here. Yes, he was here. Thank goodness. So I'm walking down the hall. Forgot all about that box that that easel was at or the easel was in my foot you know I'm going you know walking pretty good pace my foot hits that box it didn't budge it didn't budge oh, no. the box didn't budge I go forward and of all things I hit that big heavy roll of paper oh I knew the minute I hit that it broke my nose because I heard it and of course oh. you know blood went everywhere oh. Oh God. Oh, <laughs> it's awful. And I hollered at Tim and I, all I could think was, thank God he was home yeah. and it didn't yeah. knock me out, but it knocked me for a loop. But, and, yeah. uh, cause of course it was a head, you know, head nose and, and, uh, I was flat and I, I just hollered at Tim. I said, I know I broke my nose. Mm. You could just tell, you know, and so he uh, got a rag and stuff and we got to the hospital. And yes, yeah. I ended up breaking it two places. Uh, Luckily, oh, my God. Yeah. Two breaks on that. Luckily, it didn't, you know, get huge. I did get the <laughs> darkness, you know, in the eyes and across the nose. And uh, but uh, they didn't have to go ahead and do uh, any surgery. Uh, it was awful. Oh, you got lucky. Yeah. Yes. I got when you're and your nose yeah. looks fabulous. So yeah. I would never have known <laughs> you broke your nose. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't have known either if you hadn't told me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that's uh, an excuse to take a little of that time management and clean your studio. Right. <laughs> yeah. At least the floor. At least the that's floor. That's right. Don't have anything in the hallway. Don't <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh. Wow. All right. Well, I'm sorry to have interrupted you in there on that side note, but so where I, I kind of lost track. Where were we? <laughs> yeah, where were we? I don't know. <laughs> the the See, horrible, the, the, the paper nose breaking thing is <laughs> shocking, <laughs> right? <laughs> so that's, you know, that's a few tips that I have, you know, um, using your phone for recording if you needed to. Yeah. And pre-scheduling and just mm-hmm. taking those 15 minutes. If you have an extra 15 minutes uh, and focus on one thing, yeah, it's easy. It's so easy to get overwhelmed with so many things on your list, you know, oh, yeah. what you might need yeah. to do. 
Those so 15 I, minute. Oh, go ahead. Well, I just try to do, you know, one thing at a time. And then yeah. that kind of helps with the uh, less overwhelming, you know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And those 15 minutes, they add up. Because if you do that four times a day, that's a whole hour. You that's know? right. That's I mean, right. that's a lot of time. And kind of like what yep. you were talking about, Jamie, with your mother, you know, setting a timer too. It doesn't matter mm-hmm. whether you're, whatever you're doing with the timer. I, there's something about that that's kind yeah. of magical, really. It is. Because, yeah. Mm-hmm. Counting down. Yes. Yeah. And, and yeah. you can easily get sidetracked, right? You start, yeah. oh, you, yeah. have, <laughs> you yeah. have a goal in mind to do whatever it might be. And it's so easy to get sidetracked. But if you mm-hmm. set oh, that yes. timer, there's something about that, yeah. you know. Especially like us working from home, we have our studios mm-hmm. are in our home. And, you know, I, I tell you guys all the time, I'm walking to the bathroom and I see a load of laundry. Oh, yeah. well, I'll stop and do that. Then I <laughs> right. have to fold, you know, fold the laundry, put away the laundry. You know, it is yeah. hard to stay on task. It and, is. You know, it and is. that was yeah. all coming up from my studio just to use the restroom. So, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then didn't you mention simplifying your goals, Vicki? I, I did. Yeah. Uh, you know, or your larger goals that might be different, that takes different steps, you know, or several steps, just kind of simplify those as best as you can. You know, we're mm-hmm. only, we can only do so much mm-hmm. when we are, you know, the artist and we have so many uh, things to do, you know, there's schedules, you're, you're showing at a gallery or, or you're having a class or uh, you have a market or art show come up or whatever it might be, you know, um, just try to uh, break those down as best as you can and simplify them, not be so overwhelmed. I, like I said earlier, mm-hmm. I'm a person that if I get too much going on uh, and I don't step back from that a little bit and think, okay, Vicki, what do you really need to do now today? What do you really need to do? Don't worry about what you got to do next week yet. And mm-hmm. uh, then that helps me. You know, so that's kind of simplifying it when you have a large, uh, uh, when you've been busy and you have several things going in different directions. Yeah. Yeah. And back to prioritizing again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And I'm assuming also, like, if you're getting ready for a show, for example, you will not write down, just get ready for the show. You'll have it broken down into steps, like get this together, get that together, you know. Yeah. And when I do a show, uh, that's a good, that's a good uh, question though about that because uh, when you do a show if it's an outdoor show you know you guys know you've done these several times you know what you've got to bring you know you've yeah. got to bring a canopy you've got to bring chairs you've got to bring of course your art so that's mm-hmm. one list right kind of a check off sheet and I keep that that's just a one list that you yeah. know you're going to have to do every time yeah and Not that does that save list. time yeah that yes. does save time yeah. to have yeah. that list and I've done packing. so many of them. It kind of comes natural now, but it's still good to have that uh, yeah. sheet. Checklist. To off yeah. Of, right? yeah. Cause we forget things. Right. Yes. Right. And then I have my own goals. Like when a show comes up in the future, okay. I would like to have so many 20 by 20 canvases or whatever done, or I need to make some more animals or, you know, so that's kind of another list that I create Mm-hmm. if not on paper or on my phone, it's in my mind, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, that I would like to have done before that show's ready. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, you mentioned something about earlier, Vicki, about things you can't control. That kind of reminds me of like with my goals, when I set them at the beginning of the year, I usually have a sales goal, but mm-hmm. ultimately I can't yeah. control how many people buy my art, but mm-hmm. I can control how right. many paintings I make in a week which can increase the chances that more of them will sell. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, That's a good point, Lori. Very good yes. point. Yeah. Yes. And you're really good about that. Uh, yeah. She's oh, excellent thanks. with that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. She's encouraged. Uh, you've encouraged me and, and, yeah. James and me. I'm yeah. sure. Yes. Right. About that. Oh, thank you. Because yeah. that's a whole yearly goal. That's a, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Legit. Yeah. And we've talked about that short term and long term goals mm-hmm. before. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. I think we have a, a podcast yeah. on that, Lori, don't we? We'll I think to, yeah, we might. I'll have to yeah. put a link yeah, in there. I'll have to look. Mm-hmm. I think we yeah. did talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. Or it's on maybe it's on the list. I think it's of, of things we're going to talk about. I think we talked about goals in another podcast, just a yeah. part of the podcast. Oh, OK. 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 
and I know that Vicky, you've said before that um, having, especially with the the health concerns that, and for everyone, just to avoid burnout. Uh, you've mentioned you need to have some that you you manage your time by trying to put things into certain days, and so you can have days off, your down days. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. And not necessarily off completely, like you're still creative, but you might not get into the studio, but you're relaxing those days, right? Can you touch right. a little bit more onto that? Um, yes, because I've learned the hard way. Yeah. <laughs> I've learned the hard way when you get too much, you know, on your plate. And then especially if it's it's a, uh, a time where uh, I'm not on my A game, I guess, as far as health wise, right? And so... Uh, it's real important for me to have and and really schedule some time to myself, right? No matter how I want to use it, whether I just sit on the patio and look at the animals or whatever, you know, and have my coffee. But I have quickly realized that it's real important for me if I can, it's kind of like the, the pre-scheduling. Well, I'm kind of almost pre-scheduling my classes. So I would rather for me have a day that's packed and then have maybe the next day off or at least a half a day off. Right. Yeah. So yeah. even a half a day. Yeah. Where, and when I say off, I mean, not leaving the home at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No out, no zoom classes, no, mm-hmm. you know, personal, cl- nothing. So yeah. you, we all need that too. That's yeah. Really, yeah. Right. That's really yeah. good for self care. Yes, it, it is. definitely. Right. Yeah, you're right. rejuvenate yeah. your creativity. Yes, and yeah, yeah. and not have yeah. that overwhelm or or burnout is so important. Because it yeah. in March, I it was rough. <laughs> it was rough. Yeah, because we had our April. pop up. Yes. Yeah, we had our pop up in March. Yes. Yeah, I know yeah. You, were, you were stressed. And yeah, you weren't you a blue stocking that month? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you couldn't that put same your in there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to have artwork ready for that. And, and then of course our pop-up was a big one. And so, yes, it was, <laughs> it was kind of, so in between classes and, and doing my, I had to do extra because I wanted some fresh artwork, you know, yeah. uh, I had some right. art to bring, mm-hmm. of course, but I wanted a few fresh pieces too, you know, so mm-hmm. uh, yes, that was a little stressful, but there again, you do, you know, you do a little bit at a time, do what you can do. And you can only, we can only do so much, right? And there's a time where I'm not going to be that busy, you know, but the times that we are busy, it is good to know some little tips that might help somebody. Yeah, that's right. Work hard, play hard, right? That's right. (laughs) Or, or work hard, rest hard. <laughs> yes. So on my scheduling, that's what I've done. I've tried to, uh, you know, I don't, I don't do anything on the weekends. I don't schedule anything on the weekends. Mm-hmm. So uh, I uh, want to make sure that uh, I fill my days, but don't fill them complete during the week. Yeah. So that's good advice. Do. Good advice. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, Vicki, as you both know, I limited my screen time recently because I took a little vacation from Facebook and Instagram. So Vicki, how do you limit your screen time? Cause you had mentioned something about that to us. Yes. I, I, what I mean by limiting my time is just, you know how easy it is to get your phone out, right. And you're just mm-hmm. scrolling and looking and you might post something, but like I do like to pre, you know, schedule my post, mm-hmm. but that doesn't happen all the time. You know, if I have a new painting or something, I want to take a picture and post it. So not all of them are pre-scheduled, but, you know, it just eats your time away before you know it. And uh, Lori, you said the same thing. You were noticing that. I think everybody is, Uh, you know, the statistics on that. Everybody is spending, I don't know, I can't remember what they are saying now, but how much time on their phones and looking at it. Hours a day, hours. Mm-hmm. Yes. And hours. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it's so it's I think easy. a good having your little pad, notepad that you carry around with you. That mm-hmm. it's a great alternative. Mm-hmm. I do too, and it keeps you away because you know it's it's kind of a, when you get on a Facebook, you know, and you're scrolling, and one thing leads you to something else. It's just rabbit holes all day. You know, if you're oh, on yeah. that, so <laughs> all day uh, you can you can go yep. down all kinds of rabbit holes with that. So what I try to do. Uh, is limit that to the evenings. Uh, Mm -hmm. That kind of, uh, in a 
in a strange way, it kind of calms me down because I'm, I'm usually, I'm not in the studio then, you know, it's after mm-hmm. dinner and I kind of like to see what's going on in the world. Right. So that I try to limit mine, you know, uh, for the most part till the evenings. Uh, another thing I do also is, you know, because of my health and I need to kind of, uh, make sure that I have some time to myself and, and not be so overwhelmed or overworked. Uh, one thing that will, uh, not everybody's probably like this, but one thing that will stop me and make me rest is a movie. And, uh, I will, you know, it was probably last month though, when I was getting really overwhelmed because I had a lot of things going on and deadlines And I just decided, you know, Vicki, you're going to be better if you just take a break in the midday, you know, and go in there and watch a movie that you want to see and just get your mind off of deadlines, get your mind off of what you need to get done and uh, just go in there. You know, usually they're an hour and a half, maybe two and uh, watch something. I put my feet up. I relax, I get me something cold to drink, you know, and, uh, or, or coffee. <laughs> and, uh, then I watch that and that will stop me. Now that's something that I have found where, you know, a lot of things don't, and it gets my mind off of everything. And then I'm more refreshed actually, when I get done with that movie. So that's something that works for me. Mm-hmm. I think it's important for everybody to find what works for them because we're all different. So yeah. movies works for you. Great. You know, somebody else, it might be music. Mm-hmm. Um, everybody's reading, different. Yeah. Or garden. Some, Walk out my garden. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I read, you know, a uh, lot of times that doesn't come to later though in the evening because I have little dogs too, and they want in and out and in and out. <laughs> and in and out. <laughs> yeah. Little Reese and Audie. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> They're well, so cute. has been good. So uh, I think it's just kind of knowing your limits physically and mentally Mm -hmm. and doing what's best for you. Yep. That's all excellent advice. Thank you so much, Vicki. Do you have anything else that you wanted to add? I don't think so. I don't think so. But thank you so much again for having me. I really appreciate this. Thank you for being on. We hope you'll be a regular uh, guest. Yeah. Yes, I would love to. That's, that sounds great. All right. So I'll have all the the important things that we talked about, uh, like links in the show notes, uh, like that Calm app and the mm-hmm. uh, Insight Timer and the Pick Play post from Lori. I'll have mm-hmm. all that in the show notes, along with links to see Vicki Wilson's art and her Facebook page and all the good stuff, mm-hmm. along with our links to Creative Type mm-hmm. Podcast and Thank you for joining us. Uh, I do want to mention we have merchandise available now behind Mm -hmm. me. If you're watching the YouTube video is the tote bag that I talked about last week that I just got in. I love it. And we also have aprons help support the show uh, proceeds to uh, from those sales. uh, Help us keep the show going Um, rate the show. We would love to get a five star review. And if you can give us a written review, we'll give you a shout out on our show and a link in our show notes. Hey, you can't uh, nothing hurts to have those backlinks right to your website. That's always good. Yeah. And that's what that's what will happen in the show notes. You'll get a backlink. So we appreciate all of our listeners. Thank you so much uh, that you take the time to listen to us. And I can't finish the show without talking about your shoe, your shirt, Lori. Lori has the coolest shirts oh, always. Is that Edgar <laughs> Allan Poe? Is that, yeah, yeah. Is that Edgar Allan Poe on there? Yes. Oh, one yeah. of my favorite writers. Kind of, yes. a, kind of in the style of like Andy Warhol, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Like and, I love and it. You have, to, you have to get on YouTube and look at this because this is perfect. Edgar Allan Poe and I've got my yeah. raven on my yeah. shirt. I and that's my that favorite too. story by him is the raven. It, that's awesome. We have <laughs> match. Color, right? Our colors. Yeah. Our colors yes. are the same too. Yeah. The all colors three are the same. Yeah. 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 Well, that's I got great. black right. on girls. I got black. <laughs> Hey, I said it. I said it before. Black is my color. So I love black. You guys do match. <laughs> yeah, we do. It's crazy. And what you match too, because your your chair is pink and it matches the pink in my shirt mm-hmm. and her shirt. Mm-hmm. So that's that's fun. Happy accident. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for listening and we'll see you next time on Creative Type Podcast. Yeah, thank you. Uh-huh, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>
some what? <laughs> B-roll. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's see. Um, we could probably get something off of the multiple times that we right. stopped, got on and stopped. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, True. probably so. Yeah. Well, you did so great, Vicki. You're a natural yeah, at this. Vicki and really Jamie, oh, and, well, I, Jamie and I were talking about that during one of the breaks. We're You're yeah. just a natural. Oh, yep. thank you. Yeah, and you, you know, that's something I I wouldn't have thought that, honestly. You know, but yeah. I've liked it. I've liked doing the lives before. Yeah. And I knew you'd be yeah. good. I knew. Yeah, I did too. Yeah. Yeah, but I enjoy yeah, it. I mean, I you're like a superstar on those lives. So I knew this <laughs> yeah. was going to be a breeze. Yeah. But no, you did good. You didn't you know, hem haul around. You didn't look nervous at all. Yeah. It was great. Good. Good. So, I, I yeah. meant to do a, a shout out. Tag on it. I meant to do a shout out for movies of, about artists because we're going to do a show. I don't oh, know if you yeah. listen to that, Vicki. Did you oh, listen to that? Oh, that's a good Tuesdays? idea. Yeah. We're going to we're going to do an episode. It just be a lighthearted episode. Maybe uh -huh. you can add this at the end, Lori, as a, as an, yeah. in, what, what is the, what are those called? The appendix, right? Uh, mm. We're needing, mm -hmm. we're needing mm -hmm. ideas for that episode that we're going to do with artists, you know, in, so you in mean movies or books. Mo even. Movies with artists in them? Yeah, like or, documentaries yes. or yeah, documentaries. They don't necessarily, gotcha. yeah. yes. Okay. Well, and just made up stories to fiction, uh -huh. you know, I think is fine. And, um. That's you a know, good idea. Either as the artist, as the as the starring role, or as the sidekick, you know. But it's got to be a pretty important role, I would think, to, oh, for it to yes. make the list. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think so too. And I just thought of one that I watched the other day, and I cannot remember for the life of me the name of it. And it's I'm going to have to really <laughs> dive into my brain cells and see if I can remember. Mm -hmm. But it was really good. It was a really good uh, <laughs> show about an artist, two artists actually, different mm -hmm. types, different types of artists. I think one was a might have been a sculptor I can't remember one was a painter but it was mm -hmm. really good I'll have to I'll have to look that up and uh, if yeah. I can remember if I can I can almost see her face if I can remember who the actress is I'll be able to find it that way I'm but, thinking of one yeah. too and it's a, a female and but I I I have no idea what the title is I'd have to look that up also okay well if you uh, think mm -hmm. of it you let me know okay Okay. When are you guys going to do in. that? <laughs> or just let us know. Well, we haven't gotten anyone to send anything in yet. Yeah. So it may be a while. We may uh, just keep yeah. continue asking for shout outs. Okay. I, and I'm going to do a story on Instagram.